Ah, well, hello, and welcome to CP Time, the only show that's for the culture. Today, we'll be discussing black journalists. And when you think of black journalists, you think of Lester Holt from NBC, or the great Gwen Ifill from PBS, or Al Roker's legendary visit to the White House, the first black man to ever shot in the White House. As I'm walking to the press room, I think I gotta, you know, pass a little gas here. Only a little something extra came out. Al Roker is the Jackie Robinson of going doo-doo in his draws. But American history is also filled with legendary black journalists whose work has been overlooked. Journalists like Marvell Cook, who in 1928 became the first female journalist at the New York Amsterdam News. Back then, a black woman writing for a newspaper was like an intelligent debate on Facebook. It just doesn't happen. But Cook used her blackness to her advantage, working undercover and reporting on issues that her white male colleagues would not, like abusive working conditions for domestic workers in the Bronx. Cook once even went undercover as a prostitute, and her courage and commitment to the job inspired me to do the same as I also went undercover as a prostitute in my three-part YouTube documentary, Nobody Wants to Hit This, currently sitting at 13 views and counting. Another notable black journalist was Max Robinson. Max Robinson in 1978 became the first African-American to co-anchor a network news broadcast. Robinson's smooth baritone was so compelling that a racist news station once hired him to read the news with the screen blocking his face. Imagine having a voice so irresistible that even racists say, you ain't touching my daughters, but you can penetrate my ears all you want. Now, despite facing discrimination, Robinson became a success and he did it in style. Legend has it that Robinson once showed up to cover a fire in Los Angeles while wearing a fur coat. That's like wearing a fishnet vest to a funeral, which is also something I did in my three-part YouTube documentary, Nobody Wants to Hit This. The New York Times called it pitiful, bitches. And finally, Zernona Clayton. Zernona Clayton was the first black woman to host a TV show in the South, opening the door for future black women television hosts, like Oprah Winfrey, Tamron Hall, and Wendy Williams, who I will not say anything bad about because I'm not trying to get dragged by Wendy. How you doing? From early on, it was clear that Zernona Clayton was capable of greatness. Before hosting her show, Zernona would meet with a KKK Grand Dragon every day to debate him, kind of like a real life Twitter beef. But unlike Twitter, Zernona actually convinced the Grand Dragon to change his mind, leave the hate group, and denounce them entirely. It was an amazing conversation and a win-win for the Klansmen. He was able to stop wasting his life on racism, and now he's got an extra pair of bed sheets with a couple of fun holes. Well, that's all the time we have today. I'm Roy Wood Jr., and this has been CP Time. And remember, we're for the culture. You know what, speaking of my documentary, maybe it's time I upload some of that extended footage. I've got this clip where I'm wearing some chaps. And I'm up to 15 views. I'm going viral.